All right. Good day. Welcome to Unity with Evan. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Ian and uh, Kimberly, and we're gonna minister to ten people. So uh, if your name is not on the list, and you say, "But I wanted to have a word," then uh, you didn't put your name in the comments. That's why your name is not <laughs> on the list. So uh, just letting you know. But anyway, uh, we love to minister to people. So in the future, just write your name in the comments if you would like to receive ministry, and we would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. All right. So Anthony. The Lord showed me in you in armor in a tank and how you were on a warpath and you were overcoming and every demon's head was cut off with a sword and I just saw how you were bombing the 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 compound of the enemy and you were winning the war. And so sometimes I watch these uh, shows where they explain what's happening in the uh, Russia and the Ukraine with the war and you see what the Russians are do. They tactically sometimes very clever how they do it both sides. I'm not saying one is better or worse or whatever. But the thing is, uh, in war, the strategy. And I just felt that the Lord says, He's giving you strategy to overcome the enemy. And so I felt this is not a time to just sit and meditate and say, uh, okay, uh, I, I trust that God is going to sort stuff out. I felt that the Lord says, no, be like Joshua that took the Israelites and they went in. And they took the city that occupied the land that the Lord was giving them to them. And I felt that the Lord says, you're going to work 12 hours a day. You're going to work really hard. You're going to have strategy from God. But you're going to overcome because the Lord is giving you the land. God bless you. Okay, Cresta, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw for you was very strong muscles and big muscles. And then... Um, the, you, you were very strong but you didn't have a lot of endurance now you're starting to work on the endurance and as you work on the endurance your muscles get smaller but the strength still remains the same and I feel this is what the Lord's doing in your life uh, you've seen big breakthroughs you've seen uh, and it looks like you've got uh, a lot of faith and all of that but now the looking is going to be less but the power will be still the same. But the Lord's giving you endurance so that you can do it time after time after time again. And I just see how it's going to be a good season, even though there's going to be hard work involved. Be blessed. Amen, Krista. This next word is for Tani Dalin. Dal Dal yeah. the, the Lord shows me this heart that is very, very heavy. And, and, and the Lord is picking you up. He is picking out your heart and the Lord shows me how He is giving you a brand new heart. How He is taking you under and under in His spirit and He's just healing you. But I hear this is also a deep emotional healing that you have been carrying. And, and the Lord says, my daughter, I want you to release this because I have paid for this. And, and I hear the Lord saying, I want you to have faith that every part of your life will be healed, will be transformed, uh, even in your mind, the renewing of your mind. I hear the Lord saying that put, that He is giving you the mind of Christ. And I hear how He is speaking to you, that He has only love for you. The Lord has only love for you, that you are His daughter and your identity is found in Him. And the Lord says that nothing can, will keep you from Him because He is always pursuing you. But it is a choice to, to open the door and allow Him in again and again and again. So, so Delian, I just want to add, I, the Lord reminds me about that story about the woman with the issue of blood. And she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, then I will be healed. And so when she touched him, power went out of the Lord Jesus. And that woman was healed of a 12 year sickness. Sickness. I gave all the money to the doctor. She couldn't get healed. And you know what's interesting? Jesus said to her, women, your faith has made you whole. And I felt that the Lord says, now is not a time to panic or a time to speak death or a time to allow the enemy to come in your mind, in your thoughts or on your mouth. Now is the time to speak faith, to declare that the Lord is good, that the Lord is faithful, that the Lord is my healer. The Lord will supply to me through the stripes of Jesus. I am healed. When I come to the Lord, he is my healer. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the one that healeth me. And I just felt that the Lord is just speaking that over your life. The Lord loves you very, very much. You know, when Jesus healed people, he, he always healed them because he had compassion and love for them. And, you know, the scripture says many times he was moved with compassion. And so then he healed all the sick. 
and I just feel today how Jesus is moved with compassion for you and for your family and how the Lord comes and he brings healing and restoration to you. All right, so I just bless the Leon in the name of Jesus. Thank you. So the next person I want to minister to is Rita Kutsia. So Rita, the Lord showed me the ivy plant. And you know that ivies, when they start to climb on a wall, especially if it's a rough wall, they can really put the, uh, the, themselves into that wall and hold onto that wall. Uh, it creeps, it goes into everything, and it holds on. And I just felt that the Lord says, that is your faith in God. You trust in the Lord, you hold on to the Lord, you climb up and you keep on growing and you don't worry about anything. And the Lord says, doesn't matter what the enemy is coming to do against you. Don't worry about the enemy. Trust in God, he will make a way for you. And I just felt that the, yeah, just like that, that ivy creeper, when I grew up, we had a big side of our house that was covered with that. Uh, I just felt that the Lord is bringing that stability and a durability into your life. God bless you, Rita. Um, Lorna, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you uh, was uh, that uh, th there's a time in your life that you, you're you going to have to use your faith. Uh, there's a big giant ladder in front of you that ac that's got access all the way into heaven. Uh, but you're standing at the bottom now. A lot of time when people are afraid of heights, they don't want to climb a ladder. Uh, and I just see how the Lord says, don't even think about it. Just come up to me. Don't you let your fear be activated but rather activate your faith and say yes lord i'm coming doesn't matter what's going to be on the way if the lord called you he will make a way he'll provide he will give you what you need you, you really just need to trust the lord it's going to be awesome be blessed and laura please give us a comment this thing is for sonia the lord shows me how how he's calling you to come and be and spend time with him and, and go into your room and and close the door and in Matthew 6, and I hear the Lord saying that you are in charge of how you spend your time. Don't ever think that that you are not in control on where you choose to be and where you choose to place your time, your money, or your love. You decide, and the Lord is wanting you to put your time into things that are important, to pour your love on things that, that need your love to grow, and to put your money in, in, in Him and in the Lord and, in, and in, in good financial decisions. You have a choice, and the Lord says that I'm going to bless you, my daughter, with wisdom when you come and spend time with me. When you spend time with the Father, he will, he will bless you because you took time, that this time that He has given you to choose, what are you going to do with? But you've chosen to spend it with Him. And He is calling you and He is longing for you. Be blessed. Hey, Sonia, God bless you. God's hand is upon you. All right, so the next word is for Gael. Uh, so Gael, what the Lord is showing to me is how you are painting a big painting. All right, uh, You know, like the Rembrandt or one of those very famous paintings. Um... Uh, the, the Last Supper is like a massive painting. And I see how your life is like this painting. And so on the painting, there's the layers, but there's also the detail. Then I see you get stuck in a small part of the painting. And a whole year go by, but you're only on that one little part. <clears throat> but the Lord says to you, the painting is a big painting. <clears throat> there's a lot of area to cover. And I just felt that the Lord is today just releasing you. <clears throat> from focusing on that small details and and i felt that the lord says you need to give some of those details to god and you need to say to the lord lord understand you've got a bigger plan for me that includes my family that includes my business that includes my ministry that includes my future and i just see how the lord come into your life and he helps you to bring a balance into your life and those small things that you felt it needed to be perfect I see how you give it to the Lord and how the Lord helps you to sort that stuff out far better than you could do it by yourself. God bless you, Gael. Okay, Joan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a scale with two weights on it and I feel like you've been placed on the one side and all of the problems and cares and whatever on the other side and it outweighed you. And I see how the Lord says in order for you to outweigh your problems and your cares and and move forward in life you're gonna to have to trade you have to give it away you have to get rid of 
uh, the things that are keeping you back. And you say, but how, Lord, how am I going to do it? And I just see how you come in and you write everything on a paper and you say, Lord, this is what's bothering me. This is my concerns, what I want to give away. This is what I want. And you present that to the Lord. And the Lord will speak to you and He will give you direction on what you need to do. But I just see how the Lord says, most of the stuff on the list, He's just going to take for Himself and He's going to resolve it. Be blessed. Amen. Other thanks for this for Kara. The Lord says that I have stitched you once before. I've stitched you. I've made you in your mother's room once before. And hear the Lord saying that I'm going to do it again. That I'm going to I'm going to put you back together. The Lord shows me how how um, during life during life and during hard times that you have felt yourself falling apart. But the Lord says that my daughter, I will make you whole i will come and and bring you to and put you back together and i hear the lord saying that you can't look for it anywhere else no one else nothing else will will will, will heal this i hear the lord saying you need to come into my presence and 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 he needs to stitch you back together and i hear the lord saying that that is going to it's going to take time and persistence to continue to to come before the lord to come before this altar and and i see like there was these things that you were holding, that you were holding above, and they were like the things that were tearing you apart. And I hear the Lord saying, place those things on an altar and give them up to me, that you can have my portion and your inheritance as a child of mine, and not what the world thinks you should have. Be blessed. Okay, uh, Kira, God bless you. So Joan and Kira is mother and daughter so Joan put uh, both of their names on. So Joan, when I was praying for you, the Lord showed me uh, a stone, like a precious stone, but it was uh, polished. So it was shiny and you could see all the colors. And I felt that you walked with the Lord a long time. And I also see how you interceding for your family and also praying for Kira. And then Kira, what I saw, I saw an extension cord and you needed power where you are. But your cord couldn't reach the plug. It was too short. And then you you called your mother and you said to your mom, Mom, you need to pray for me right now. You need to, to help me. I, I don't, I'm not getting power here. And then you plugged into your mom. Like you would plug into an extension cord. And your mom was plugged into the wall because she was long enough. And then there was power where you were. Where. Now, sometimes we're just going to depend on God. Sometimes we're going to have to depend on our mother. And on our father to carry us and i just felt that kira you need to depend on your mother she loves you very much and god has put something in her that can help you but then kira i felt that the lord says the destiny where you are right now is far bigger than you are going right now and so the lord wants to break limitations off of your life and that's why you need to plug in right now plug into god so that he can break limitations off you god bless you kira okay so the next word is for christine christine the Lord shows me the tornado and how you were trying to hold on in that tornado uh, because you know when a tornado comes it wants to pick up everything and just bring destruction but I see saw how you put your trust in God and you stood in the middle of the tornado now I've never stood in the middle of a tornado so I can only tell what I've heard other people say they say when you, when you go right in the middle of the tornado because the wind is blowing around you, there's actually no wind blowing anywhere where you are. It's just quiet, all right? Uh, and, it, and, it, and it's a strange feeling to, to be in the center. And I felt that is what the, the Lord is doing in your life. The Lord says, although these things changing, the business is changing, finance is changing, ministry is changing, friendships are changing, even some of, you know, where you stay, how things work, a lot of things are changing. changing. But I felt that the Lord says, you are keeping your trust in me and therefore you stand in the middle of the storm in the peace of God holding onto me. And so the Lord says that's the place that I've destined for you. And that's also the place from where you're going to exercise the authority of God that he has on your life. Okay, so um, friends, um, I just want to do a general prayer for everyone that's uh, on this list. I just want to pray for two things, healing and breakthrough. So Father, I come and I pray for each one of the 10 people that's on this list. And Lord, each one of them, I felt today, was in a battle of some kind. And Lord, I realized that you don't always want us to just sit and wait and see what happens. 
Sometimes you tell us, we, you want us to take up the sword of the Spirit and use it. That's why uh, in the Bible it, it, it doesn't say the, the peace of the Word of God. That's just peaceful. It says it's like a sword. And a sword is, is meant to fight with. And so that means you have to declare the Word. And so Lord, I declare the Word of God over everyone that is on this list. Lord, I declare that you are the healer, that you heal them. Lord, I declare that you are the provider, that you provide for them financially. And Lord, that you are the Lord of both. You are the Lord of the breakthrough. And so Lord, I declare breakthrough for everyone that's on this list today. In the name of Jesus. Family, I love each one of you. Um, please, if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the list. Have a fabulous day. God bless.